If you're looking for a powerful way to improve erectile health, you're not alone, and I'm here to set the record straight. While many believe that lifting weights or doing Kegels is the key, if I had to recommend just one form of exercise that most effectively supports stronger, longer-lasting erections, my answer wouldn't be resistance training. It would be aerobic exercise. I'm Dr. Fiona, a urologist with a commitment to evidence-based men's health. And today, I want to explore why aerobic training is perhaps the most overlooked yet most effective treatment for erectile dysfunction that modern medicine has to offer. Let's be clear, erectile dysfunction isn't just a sexual issue. It's a sign of something deeper, a red flag raised by your cardiovascular system. The penis is what we call an end organ of the vascular system. This means it's often the first part of the body to visibly reflect poor circulation. When arteries start to narrow and harden with age or from underlying conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, or obesity, the effects often show up in erectile performance well before you notice angina or heart issues. Now, what does the science tell us? Numerous high-quality, randomized, controlled trials have established a strong link between regular aerobic exercise and substantial improvements in erectile function. A comprehensive meta-analysis covering 11 of these trials found that participants had an average increase of 2.8 points in the International Index of Erectile Function, a gold standard diagnostic scale. That figure is not just statistically significant, it's clinically transformative. In individuals suffering from more severe dysfunction at baseline, improvements were even greater, often as high as five points. Unlike pharmacological treatments that produce short-lived effects and require ongoing use, cardiovascular training actually gets to the root cause, supporting the structural and functional health of your blood vessels over time. We're not managing symptoms here, we're reversing pathology, now let's examine the biochemistry behind this. Erections are heavily dependent on nitric oxide, a naturally occurring gas molecule that signals the smooth muscle within blood vessels to relax and expand. This biological process is essential to achieving and maintaining an erection. During aerobic exercise, the sheer stress produced by increased blood flow stimulates the endothelial cells lining your arteries to produce more nitric oxide. This is the very same pathway targeted by common erectile dysfunction medications, such as PDE5 inhibitors. But with aerobic exercise, you're harnessing and enhancing it naturally. You're not relying on a temporary boost. You're training your cardiovascular system to function optimally every single day. Through consistent aerobic activity, arteries become more elastic, endothelial health improves, and blood flow to the penis becomes more dependable. Multiple meta-analyses have confirmed this. Aerobic training enhances endothelial function, reduces arterial stiffness, and significantly improves penile perfusion. One major review even reported outcome measures comparable to prescription medication, especially in men with moderate erectile dysfunction, and the benefits go beyond that. Men with chronic health conditions like hypertension, type 2 diabetes, or central obesity, conditions known to impair vascular health, tend to see the most dramatic improvements from cardio-based interventions. Why? Because their vascular systems have been under long-term stress, and exercise provides a much-needed reversal of that oxidative damage. Speaking of oxidative damage, we need to touch on an often ignored culprit behind erectile issues. Oxidative stress, reactive oxygen species, or ROS, can neutralize nitric oxide and reduce its bioavailability. This makes blood vessels less responsive and more rigid. However, aerobic training has been shown to activate antioxidant defense systems within the body, particularly enzymes like superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. The result is increased nitric oxide retention, greater endothelial resilience, and a profound long-term benefit in erectile performance. Now let's contrast that with strength training. Yes, weightlifting builds muscle mass and provides a temporary rise in testosterone levels. But heavy resistance exercise also causes acute elevations in blood pressure, and it does very little to condition your vascular system. 
the true engine behind erectile function. Kegel exercises, while excellent for pelvic floor strength and urinary control, don't impact the circulatory dynamics needed for strong erections. Aerobic training, on the other hand, uniquely targets the vascular and endothelial systems, making it the cornerstone of any serious erectile dysfunction protocol. Now let's consider hormones and metabolic health, two other vital components. While everyone points to testosterone as the defining hormone of male sexual function, the reality is more complex. Erectile competence tends to correlate more closely with cardiometabolic health than with serum testosterone levels alone. Research consistently shows that men with healthier metabolic profiles, lower visceral fat, reduced systemic inflammation, and improved insulin sensitivity tend to have better erectile function. Aerobic exercise supports all of these pathways. It helps reduce abdominal fat, improves glycemic control, boosts insulin receptor sensitivity, and lowers pro-inflammatory cytokine levels. Time and again, I've seen male patients report tangible improvements in erection quality after achieving modest reductions in waist circumference. In fact, waist size is a more reliable biomarker for sexual health than any snapshot testosterone reading. The long-term protective power of cardio is equally compelling. Meta-analytic data now suggests that as little as 150 to 200 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per week can not only preserve erectile function, but outright prevent the onset of dysfunction later in life. In well-controlled studies using 40-minute cardio sessions four times per week over a span of six months, researchers observed improvement rates of more than 80% in previously diagnosed cases of erectile dysfunction and we cannot ignore the psychological dimension. Regular aerobic activity is strongly associated with lower rates of anxiety and depression, two major, often overlooked causes of erectile difficulty, by improving neurological plasticity, reducing cortisol, and even enhancing sleep cycles. Cardiovascular training helps rebalance both the brain and body. A healthier mind supports arousal, confidence, and regulatory control, all critical mechanisms in sexual health. Interestingly, cardio can even work synergistically with medication. Some peer-reviewed studies have shown that men who engage in regular aerobic exercise respond more effectively to PDE5 inhibitors. They often require lower dosages and experience fewer side effects. For men who aren't candidates for pharmaceutical interventions or those seeking a natural solution, Cardio stands as a scientifically validated, side-effect-free option. So, what does this mean for your daily routine? You don't need to lace up for a marathon. Moderate aerobic activity, whether it's brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or jogging, done consistently for 30 minutes a day, 3 to 4 days per week, can make an extraordinary difference. If you can combine that with light resistance training and targeted pelvic floor exercises, even better but consider aerobic training your foundation. Too many men are suffering in silence, unaware that a few hours of consistent movement each week could transform not just their sexual health, but their entire vascular future. As a physician who specializes in male reproductive and urologic health, I'm here to tell you, this is not hype. This is hard science, and it's your health, your future. If this message resonates with you, I encourage you to share it. Empowerment begins with knowledge, and every man deserves access to real, evidence-based strategies for lifelong vitality. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe for a reason, and I'll see you in the next video.